five tonight cited for feeding the homeless. Two men had to go to court today after getting those citations from St. Louis police. The city has decided not to press charges. News Force Ray Preston live in our newsroom tonight with the story. And Ray, this issue is not yet resolved. It is not. And those who were cited say they're going to push to clarify just what they can do when it comes to handing out food and helping the homeless on the streets of St. Louis. Trevor May says he now has a place to stay, but was down and out on the streets of St. Louis for nearly two years. He would sometimes get food from those looking to help. My thoughts was like, I think it was like a gift from God, you know. On Halloween day, two men handing out sandwiches to the homeless near Christ Church Cathedral were given a citation by police. Kind of bewildered. It's like we're out here every day doing this and we've seen police officers in the past and nobody's ever said anything to us. Operating prepared food without proper permits. Ray Redlick says he understands the need for health department regulations at soup kitchens and more established centers. People going out and, and giving out food uh, as a, you know, just as a gesture to the homeless on the streets, I don't think that should come under the same regulation. They fix the same food that they would eat themselves and offer to come down and share it with these other folks. The health department has no business interfering in that kind of a relationship. Dave Rowland is an attorney who's volunteered to represent the men. He says Tuesday morning, a city prosecutor told the men when they appeared in court, the city would not pursue the matter. We're told the case is basically dropped. It's part of our nature, part of the American way to try and help those. And you shouldn't have to get the government's permission to do it. Well, about 10 minutes ago, we received a statement from the city. Public Safety Director Judge Jim Edwards says issuing citations like this are at the discretion of officers, and it's also at the discretion of the city councilor's office to not pursue charges. It goes on to say, I understand that folks want to help, and we appreciate that. It is the job of the city of St. Louis to ensure that our residents experiencing homelessness are receiving food prepared and transported according to the required sanitary guidelines. The guidelines are in place to prevent people from contracting a dangerous foodborne illness. Live in the newsroom, Ray Preston, News 4.